happy sunday everyone so as you can see in the crib this sunday evening i have all four of my silicone little loves here and i wanted to finally share them together with everyone um i had gotten a, requ a few requests to see all four babies together so this is their debut all four of them in the crib together and it's something I was looking forward to as well, because believe it or not, I haven't even put the four of them together since like even off camera since Gabriel came home. And this is little Gabriel here on the end for those who might be new to my channel. So he came home tomorrow on Monday. It'll be two weeks since he's been home. And so since he came home, this is their first time all being, you know, out all dressed together so I was really looking forward to this and um I must say I am just so happy with these babies I can't I can't even believe I have the four of them still I'm like pinching myself and that being is because Claire Taylor and all of these babies are full body silicone dolls by Claire Taylor and she is definitely my most favorite artist most favorite silicone artist. So I cannot believe that I have four of her full body silicones completed dolls all by her all in my collection at the same time. <laughs> so that is why I'm just like, like just bursting at the seams with this joy. And I just feel so blessed to have all four of these babies at the same time. I just love all four of them, and I think they just really complement one another. It's like they are just the perfect four right here. <laughs> they just fit together really well, and I never could have, like, in my wildest dreams, biggest dreams that I, you know, I would dream or imagine that, you know, I would be able to have four of her dolls in my collection all at one time. Um, when I started collecting six years ago, as I said many times, I didn't even think I would ever be able to have or afford one of Claire Taylor's full body silicone dolls all completed by her in my collection. So for me to have these four all at the same time, it's like I'm just like over the moon you know I'm so so happy to have all of them and I have just been really enjoying them and again they have just changed my outlook again on my collection made me just really want to focus a lot on my silicone babies again and that tends to jump back and forth with me between my vinyl reborns and my silicone babies but I, like I said, will always have my vinyl reborns in my collection, but I just really, really love silicone babies. And I'm, I'm pretty sure of that <laughs> It's 100%. I'm sure. But like I said, I like having both mediums of dolls in my collection. So this is like just more than I could ever have dreamed of or asked for or prayed for. <laughs> like I can't even just wrap my mind around it. Like I'm still pinching myself. But anyway, I wanted to change all of them. So that's what I did this Sunday. Well, I changed these three because Jasmine was changed already. And I wanted to put them all in some knitwear. Not the same colors, not the same outfit. Although they're like my quadruplets right now. Um, but I wanted something knit where they would all have one knitwear. So that is basically what I did today. And I dressed them off camera because I knew it would just take too long to dress four of them. Well, three of them on camera with all these long sleeves and all this stuff. <laughs> so I didn't even try that. So here they are, and I will introduce them to you guys. So first up here is Gabriel, and he is the newest baby, but actually he's not new in my collection. He came home, as I said, two weeks ago, and he has left my nursery and come back, and this is his third time coming back. So at this point, I want to say that this baby is a forever baby, and I do not use that term lightly. I don't take it for granted when you say forever baby but three times getting this this particular baby this same baby and he's just such a special baby to me 
And I just love him so much. Um, I think I need to just hold on to him this time. I, I'm not trying to let him go again. Um, I didn't even think I could get him back this, you know, a third time. But here he is. So, oh, what a blessing it is to have him a third time. But he is Gabriel. And he is the Andrew sculpt by Claire Taylor Dolls. And he's a full body silicone baby boy. And as I said, he's been here now. This is his third time, but he's only been back home now for two weeks. And the first time I got him was way back in 2017. So, yeah. And I kept him the first time. The longest was over a year he was here before I adopted him out. Then he came back again and he was home for maybe about four months or something. And I adopted him out again. And now here he is back the third time. And I'm just trying to hold on to him at this point. <laughs> but he's wearing this knit set and it's like a, um, a tan and ivory mix. And it has a horsey on here, which I didn't think I had anything with horses on it. And then I pulled this out today and it has the little jockey kind of knit hat with the little ball on top, but I didn't want to cover up his hair. But, um, this was the theme I believe this past Thursday was horses, if I'm not mistaken. So he's kind of, um, dressed for theme Thursday on, he's a little late, it's Sunday. <laughs> but anyway, next up is my sweet little Layla here. And as usual, she's staring up at mommy like, mommy, what are you talking about again? So Layla is from the Dwayne Denia or Dwayne Dania edition by Claire Taylor Dolls. And she is also a full body silicone baby girl. And she's been here now over a year. July was a year for her. July 6th. Um... And then next up is my little boy here, Matthew James. And he is also a full body silicone baby boy. And he is from the Zadia edition by Claire Taylor Dolls. And um, he came home on August 7th. So he's been here like three months now. He's been home. And he, I think he's the smallest out of the four of them. Cause he's even littler than Gabriel and they have, like I said, the same body sculpt, different faces, different head, but same body, but he's smaller. So he's like the little peanut out of the four of them. Um, so he's been here three months and then next to him, last but not least is little miss Yasmin and Yasmin is a full body silicone baby girl as well. And she is from well, she is the Tate prototype by Claire Taylor Dolls. So she has been here. She came home a day before Matthew. So she came home on August 6th. And I had said these two were my twins at the time because they came home a day apart. And I think they are the first full body silicones I got within a day apart like that. That was the first time for that for me in six years of collecting. So those are all of the babies. Um, the two girls, Layla and Yasmin, are both drinking wet, full body silicone babies. And then the two boys are not drinking wet. But all of them are full body silicone babies. Um, these two, Gabriel and Layla, both have the squishy tummy feature. Um, and these two don't have the squishy tummy feature. It's like it just kind of each thing balances out with them. Two boys, two girls, two asleep, two awake. <laughs> it's like, like I couldn't have planned this out any better. You know, it just all kind of fell into place perfectly. And I see my camera again is getting dark. I don't know if it's about to die. But that is what I wanted to share with you today. These four beautiful babies and their outfits of today. And also, I wanted to say, if my phone does not cut off on me, that once again, I have decided based on my two previous videos, if you've watched them right before this video where I was talking about um, my decision as far as my channel at this point. 
with the the um FTC new guidelines, YouTube guidelines for the new act of COPA or COPA. I'm trying to do that to see if it will lighten up the camera, but it's not. Um, but first I said I was going to choose that my channel was geared towards children because I am sharing my dolls and technically dolls fall under the category of toys. Whether we want to say they're toys or not, they would fall under the category of toys. So with that being said, I figured, okay, I would have to choose that my channel and my videos is geared towards children. And that was my first choice. Then after I thought about it and I looked at my analytics page on YouTube, as I discussed in the second video, my channel and my videos do not attract many children, if any. So, and my videos, I've never made them for children. And my dolls are adult collectible, you know, dolls. They're not intended to be toys. So I figured, no, then I'm not going to choose that my channel is geared towards children because it's not. Now, after watching more videos about it and hearing others talk about it and rethinking it and going back to that thing of dolls falling under the category of toys, it has made me rethink and reconsider my decision for the third time. Um, I'm thinking that I probably would have to say my videos are geared towards children and change my my selection again um, because I don't want to have any issues as I said with the FTC and from what I'm hearing YouTube is not really going to have much say so in this is really going to be up to the FTC and if we had to fight a battle against the FTC who would likely win us the dog collectors or them and it probably would be the you know the FTC um, although we think our dolls are not toys, they might, they are probably, I'm not even going to say might, they're probably not going to see it that way. They're going to say, nope, they're dolls. Kids will be possibly, or will be attracted to them because they're toys. So then that forces me in a way to go ahead and choose that my channel, you know, could attract children and it's get my videos are geared towards children. So it looks like I probably will have to go back and change my decision all over again. So I just wanted to share that with you guys. If you haven't seen my previous two videos, they're still there. If you want to go check out what I said, um, everyone has differences of opinions on this. And it's just so confusing. And we kind of fall in between the cracks with this. It is like you could go either way with this for us as a, as adult doll collectors. But then the FTC is probably going to say they're going to just look at it straight and narrow. They're not going to look at no gray area. It's going to be black or white. You, you have dolls. You're sharing dolls. Okay, then your video is, you know, your, your videos are, are, you're showing toys. And your videos can attract kids. So basically, that's probably how it's going to end up being viewed for us, unfortunately. It's very unfortunate and sad that... Most of us who choose that our channels are for children or our videos are geared towards children, we will probably just lose our, you know, comments and all kind of stuff we stand to lose. But as long as my channel is allowed to be on YouTube, I will still put up videos here. Um, and if you see where all of a sudden my comments are disabled, as I said, I will put my Instagram and Facebook under the videos in the description and you are welcome to come follow me over there. If you want to be able to comment and communicate with me, I always post an Instagram pretty much every day and and on my Facebook. So I'll put those under the video here. And that is all for now, guys. I just wanted to update you on my new decision once again. <laughs> so thanks for watching me and the quadruplets signing off. Enjoy the rest of your Sunday evening.